Hello viewers of Biotechnica, welcome again to another video. So today I'll be talking about the top 10 molecular biology technique and where to learn those techniques from. So many of you have this question in your mind. Yes, of course, I'm a fresher. I've done my bachelor's or master's in biochemistry or microbiology or biotechnology. But I wanted to get into a very good position. I'm not still getting a job. One thing we know that it's mainly because of lack of some technical skill we used to have. So today I'll be talking about what are the top 10 molecular biology technique you need to know and where to learn those techniques from in detail. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So what's the first molecular technique that you need to know? The first is going to be PCR and RT-PCR. Everybody knows about this PCR and RT-PCR. We know uh, which we usually uh, use it during this COVID-19 pandemic. Everybody heard about this one. Previously, it was very well known, but even common people came to know about this RT-PCR at that moment. So we know what is this PCR and RT-PCR. Let's not go in for that. I'll be talking about what are the institute or the companies where you can go and for either a workshop or for an internship or for a project training and learn those techniques. So first, let's talk about what are the companies or institutes that's going to offer this training program in PCR or RT-PCR. So if we have to talk about in case of world scenario, I'm going to tell this is the latest one. So so you can actually see it over here, Rocha, which is 2023 summer internship program in case of PCR and molecular biology is still going on. So you can just log on to the website and you can apply to this. This is going to be an internship in the US. If you want an accommodation in the US, it will also be provided over there. So check on to this one. This is a wonderful uh, learning process that you can learn through Rocha, which is in the US. The next, of course, everybody knows about the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, this is also going to provide you PCR, RT-PCR training programs. Even online is available. Uh, even offline is also available. So you can get an access to this one. Uh, you can learn it online also. These are some of the most well-reputed certification that you can get when you learn PCR or RT-PCR. Now, the most important question comes for us is, you're staying in India. So what's going to be the scenario if you want to go in for? So I'm going to give you a list. Whoever wants to take a screenshot, definitely you can do it. So most of the CSIR laboratory, I'm, I'm not going to uh, segregate CSIR laboratory because CSIR laboratory will actually releases the notification for workshops of an internship or for project training for PCR and RT-PCR more randomly like more often you can actually see this one so commonly you can find CSIR laboratories calling for PCR RT-PCR trainings so you can look on to all the CSIR institute we have a video on CSIR laboratory list also you can check on to that and go to every website and see or else you can always get subscribed to Biotechnica website so that you have a newsletter coming for you notification coming for you what are the internship programs that are available for you so now let's talk about uh, this opportunity that you can learn PCR and RT-PCR in India. What are the institute? I have just returned all the CSAR laboratory because each of the CSAR laboratory will have a separate notification calling for a workshop or training differently. So you can look on to all the CSAR laboratory which has the same facility and you can work on. And almost all the ICMR institute because we know about PCR and RT-PCR is very very important uh, for studying about the amplification of the DNA or RNA. So ICMR ICMR, almost all the ICMR provides this, but more often you can see ICMR NIRRH. This is actually in Mumbai, uh, Reproductive Health Research. So you can also go in for this one, which usually releases uh, PCR and RT-PCR workshops or training programs. And the next is going to be NBS. This is actually a company. Uh, you can see it in the Pune. This is a paid internship for you. And this is going to be for one day. Of course, you can attend this one also. The next comes IIT Karakpur. Uh, even all the IITs provide, but more often IIT Karakpur provides hands-on training on RT-PCR and PCR. You can literally go for it. 
so you can look on to other iits also which will release as the uh, notification for the pcr or rt pcr trainings or workshops whatever it is the next is jipmer yes jipmer in pondicherry also releases because they are more inclined towards medical research you can see PCR and RT-PCR techniques workshops will be going on. If anybody wants to go and look in for the website, you can check on to this one. The previous notification is still now available, so you can see that. The next is going to be National Institute of Biological. Uh, you can also go in for this one. This is also providing you this one. I wanted all of you to just take a screenshot because this is going to be the complete detail. If you go to this website, you will see National Institute of Biologicals provides lot of workshops so you can literally see when's going to be the workshop right now the workshop is also available you can check on to that and start applying for this one the next is going to be rgcb which is a department of biotechnology government one rajiv gandhi center for biotechnology they also provide you a pcr rt pcr training and this is the website if you want to go for you can go and you can see the complete details about the training programs also they provide online training workshops project which incorporates this pcr or rt pcr if you are a fresher definitely you need to learn this pcr or rt pcr so that you can get your jobs also very easily the next is perma fisher i'm going to include companies also because most of the companies if you would like to enter into a company you need to know what exactly happens in the company so perma fisher scientific very specifically in Haryana and Bangalore is going to provide a paid hands-on training or workshops on PCR and RT-PCR so definitely you can go for all this organization check in whichever is applicable for you there are free internships there are free workshops you can just apply to this and then you can proceed on these are some of the lists that i've given you but there are many more which you will be seeing as notification which will be given in the biotechnica website also you can just check on to that one the next is going to be flow cytometry most important thing when you are going to do any sort of research cell biology or anything or oncology research you need to note facts analysis which is FACS or flow cytometry, you need to know. So what are the organizations or the institute which is going to provide this uh, training programs for you? Uh, definitely NCB, NCCS, which is National Center for uh, Cell Sciences and Pune DBT Control. They are going to provide BD, NCCS, COE in stem cell research and sorting because you can find whether you go as a project trainee for six months or for one year you'll be given a training in facts analysis or flow cytometry so definitely you can go in for nccs training the next is even iac bangalore conducts paid workshops on flow cytometry or facts the next is, of course, NCBS also conducts, which is NCBS in Bangalore, uh, which is National Center for Biological Sciences. They also conduct uh, instant uh, hands-on basic flow cytometry courses separately for you, hands-on courses for you. So definitely you can go for this one. The next one is going to be NBS Pune, which is a paid one. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, ICMR also conducts. Very specifically, I told you, NIRRH conducts a lot of workshops and trainings uh, for most of the uh, molecular biology techniques we can say next one if you want to go in for some companies then you can go for Agilent. Yes, Agilent is a very well-versed company. You will get a certification online also. You will understand how the company works with the help of this flow cytometry. Experts will be coming and taking uh, these things for you. And of course, Thermo Fisher. Thermo Fisher also conducts. This is another one, Flow Cytometry Solution. This company also provides and Nerev Bio Solutions. So these are some of the institutes and companies which provides internships or workshops on flow cytometry. So definitely you can go for this one the next one is of course gel electrophoresis yes if you want to uh, separate a dna or if you want to separate a protein you need to go for gel electrophoresis we know about agros gel electrophoresis uh, for dna sds page for proteins so if you want to learn gel electrophoresis i'm going to tell you certain companies and certain institute so first let's talk about some of the companies cytogene lot of companies if you're going to go and surf over there you can see gel electrophoresis uh, workshops and internships are provided by most of the companies you can go in for free version very specifically in the government job then look in for the company whichever you find it comfortable you can go for it next is reliance life science private limited in mumbai and work hard research center in aurangabad also provides uh, workshops or internship on gel electrophoresis the next comes some of the institute this is the most important thing i would suggest uh, most predominantly go for some research institute which are more prominently taking candidates also if you're going to have a work uh, work 
work on experience over there then definitely if you're going to apply for project or something else then you can be easily hired since you have your training over there also and in lucknow industrial toxicological research institute provides internships or workshop dr b lal institute of biotechnology jaipur and there are a lot of universities and colleges which will also provide uh, workshops or internships on gel electrophoresis always try to take a hands on experience or a virtual internship whichever is comfortable for you of course national center for biological sciences in bangalore ibab i would like to add on to this point ibab is very good enough when we talk about gel electrophoresis ngs or crispr cas most of mainly ngs is very well known in ibab the next is most of the csir laboratory used to conduct all the dbt institution you can check onto the video what are the dbt institutes and of course nccs comes under dbt and indian institute of science also provides gel electrophoresis uh, training or workshops specially for you this might be variable because workshops internships very specifically workshops will come at any point of time you have to look onto the website so let's talk about the blotting techniques so northern blotting is very specifically for the rna and southern blotting is for dna and western blotting is for proteins so if we without analyzing a uh, blotting techniques or understanding blotting techniques you cannot perform most of the experiment because you start off with a protein and then you go for sts page and then you will go for the blotting techniques and then you will go for the purification techniques and all this thing so blotting is an important technique that everybody needs to know whether you want to go in for any sort of fields so in usa the most well known institute for studying this western blotting technique very specifically is national human genome research research institute in the usa yes this is very very well known if you want to go in for any training or workshops in the usa online offline everything you can look on to this and cytogene lucknow it's a company which provides and csir dbt icmr icmr nirh conducts very specifically on western blotting uh, you can always find lot of notification coming in all this Uh, departments uh, which provides blotting techniques exclusively workshops as well as internship as well as project trainings for you the next comes chromatographic techniques there are a lot of chromatographic techniques we can talk about like paper chromatography thin layer chromatography very specifically to add upon hplc is very very important so hplc if you know it is going to be helpful for most of the research work so most important thing i would like to add on to that point is agilent is a company which actually provides uh chromatography techniques or spectroscopy techniques very very prominently so you can go for agilent and go in for online internship which usually come you can check onto the website csir dbt institute and then national institute of biologicals uh which is coming under ministry of health and family welfare government of india also provide lot of uh, workshops on chromatographic techniques and thin layer chromatographic techniques by cytogene they also provide other chromatographic techniques also these are some of the things that a lot of government institutions like csir dbt icmr which used to send lot of notifications so accordingly you can decide and you can start working on it the next important thing i'm going to talk about is ngs next generation sequencing which is dna sequencing so this is the most important thing for a researcher these days so i'm going to highlight on few of the thing first i'm going to highlight on ibab bangalore so ibab bangalore usually conducts lot of workshops on ngs next generation sequencing so you can definitely go for it and iit kharagpur mostly almost all the iits provide but iit karakpur provides paid hands on training for you in ngs which is very well valid and arejan i would like to add on to this point arejan is very good when we talk in case of crispr cas ngs dna arrays if you want to study then you can go for this and the next important thing is in new delhi icgeb international center for genetic engineering and biotechnology you can go for it of course valor institute of technology indian institute of technology provides next generation sequencing along with that even indian institute of science also provide next generation sequencing for you so if you would like to learn in any of these things you can definitely go in for this the next important thing is crispr cas9 yes so this is a very important thing that you have to learn about it so we have videos coming on crispr cas9 and we have internship going on at biotechnica on ngs crispr so you can also look on to that one which will be really really helpful so crispr cas9 arejan yes of course you can go in for biotechnica indian academy icri sat which is international crops research institute for semi arid tropics 
Center for Genomic Regulation and Genome Regenerative Science Institute in California. So the last two are going to be global level. The rest of the things are in India. So you can look for it. In order to uh, talk about global scenario, a lot of workshops and internships or training programs are conducted even online for all of you without understanding a theory or how the industry works. You cannot actually understand it. So there are many, many uh, which has been going on over there. You can check on to this one. To add on to this point, Biotechnica also conduct CRISPR-Cas9. Next one, DNA arrays. Of course, ArrayGen also provides DNA arrays for you. DNA arrays is very, very important. We used to add microscopic uh, DNA onto a silica gel and we used to analyze the uh, gene sequences over there, genes very specifically. Aragen, which is in Pune, and the National Institute of Plant Genome Research in India, Allele Life Sciences Company, and Fraunhofer in Germany. Fraunhofer in Germany usually have some collaborations with some uh, uh, sponsoring agency, and they used to conduct this DNA array or microarray technique. This is very important for all of us to know it. The next important one is going to be spectroscopic technique as yes, UV spectroscopy, IR spectroscopy, and then mass spectroscopy, LCMS, everything. So you need to know all these things so you can go for some of the institute. It's not very specifically you need to know what at least basic things you need to know. So Agilin is very good for most of the chromatographic technique or spectroscopic techniques. This company provides it. CSAR, DBT, ICMR Institute, most of the institute will call for this one. UV spe visible spectroscopy is very well versed in cytogene and LCMS is actually this workshop is conducted in CCMB which is in Hyderabad CSAR Institute you can go in for this. The next important thing is going to be cloning techniques. So in cloning techniques we already know most of the laboratories used to have this cloning techniques. So NCBS of course because they deal with a lot of cloning things and NCCS you can learn it in specific laboratories in NCCS, DBT Institute, CSAR, ICMR. So Look onto the website, whichever you get notification in each of these things, you can just register for the program. If it's free, start working on it. If it's paid, according to this, you can just start off with this one. So we have talked about the cloning technique. The final important thing I'm going to talk about is Biotechnica's internship. Does Biotechnica provide any internship offer for you? Yes. So bio, molecular biology technique, which is provided here. So I'll be talking and we are coming up with this batch, which is Drona batch. All in one R&D technique internship. Here you're not going, not only going to learn about molecular uh, biology techniques, you're going to learn many more. So I'm going to show you the stores at Biotechnica where you can go and actually look on to this molecular biology technique. What are the things that teach you and what's what you're going to get it in package so let's talk about that in detail so you can see here the molecular biology technique offering at biotechnica so you're going to get a lot of things like chapter one you're going to deal with biochemistry microbiology chromatography techniques protein assay molecular biology techniques very specifically electrophoresis is provided at biotechnica pcr elisa fax analysis recombinant DNA technology, immunology technique. I've been talking only about molecular biology technique, but you're going to get all the things together at stores at Biotechnica for you. So this is going to be this molecular biology internships or workshops, which is very specifically at Biotechnica you're going to get. So this is all about the molecular biology technique that you're going to get at Biotechnica. So what are the top 10 molecular biology technique that you need to know is PCR, flow cytometry, fax or gel electrophoresis, blotting, chromatography, spectroscopy, uh, NGS, CRISPR, Cas9, DNA arrays and cloning techniques. So you can get all these things at Biotechnica. You can also check on to the other website and also you can just start your uh, process of upskilling yourself and getting a wonderful job for you. So thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another wonderful video. Thank you.